welcome back everybody it's just stood here on our little pontoon jetty taking in the lovely view looks really dark looking this way but fear not it isn't that bad when we turn round but it is 25 past 5 in the evening now I was going to skip forward um, probably until tomorrow but I figured we haven't fertilized the two fields that we put canola in and we are going to get some weeds at some point so I'm not sure what's going to happen along the lines there chickens obviously still here causing mayhem but <laughs> something has happened and if you watch Rusty Money's channel you'll probably know where I'm going with this and if you haven't then I totally recommend checking him out um, basically what has happened if you're not familiar he did a video on his top six large tractors but at the start of it he went off on one a little bit <laughs> bless him and he decided to dish out some FS love now there's four guys that he's obviously friendly with that are playing on this map myself included there's farmer cop who's got a gameplay series on here and there's lock nuts and aft which stands for a farming trucker rusty decided to come on here in a great big arctic and delivered us each a small tractor now the amount of time and effort he put into this was just immense. I was blown away by it because Farmer Cop he set his he set his farm up where the uh, horses and sheep are, and Rusty turned up there first, and he more or less recreated Farmer Cop's whole farm as best that he could on console, and delivered his tractor, and he came round here our little fent was over here lock nuts tractor was here aft's stuff was here harvesters all our harvesters all our trucks uh tractors and whatnot like that he even had all of our sprayers like this laid out exactly the same it was just amazing basically pulled up here opened the back up and took out three small tractors so we have a little present in here and i've tried to put it roughly exactly the spot where rusty left it he gave us this <laughs> little dudes which i think was fantastic now if you guys i mean i could not not include this tractor in this episode because like i said the amount of time and effort he put into it doing this i just thought it was brilliant so i've definitely included this episode hope you guys are all right with it if you think it's a bit cheating then uh, you know if you're really upset by it then probably i might remove it but we're definitely going to be using it for this episode because just because of the effort he put in and so thank you very much rusty for that and like i say go and check him out i'm going to put some links down in the description of his video and his channel but yeah we got this i think i've created it roughly exactly the same as he had it but here we go we're off so he's given us the pumped version which actually does give us 82 horsepower so we've got quite a powerful little tractor here so like I say, definitely going to use it for this episode. So we're going to fertilise those two fields. Which we need this fella here. Yeah, I was very impressed with what Rusty, Rusty done. That was just amazing and farmer cop also got the truck 
the semi truck and the trailer so I have no idea what he's going to do with that on this small map but <laughs> anyway let's get fertilising I'm missing bits already I will say though and this is the honest truth hand on heart I did have this tractor downloaded because I downloaded a few small tractors purposely for this series and this was one of them obviously I haven't used it because I've not felt the need to use it as yet but considering it was given to us as a present I'm not going to say no to it so hopefully that is that field done let's just double check it looks like what is that going on there I'm not sure what that is about I think we may have missed a tiny little bit just here so let's always along that looks a bit better obviously we've still got the straw to pick up again there probably sell that off again I think because I'm not sure we're quite ready for cows and I think when we are ready to do the cows then we'll get a few of the items tipped into that silo so that we're ready to mix you know we've got the ingredients to mix TMR and then we'll have to get ourselves a mixing wagon and then we can just hopefully pull up underneath that pipe to that silo tip a little bit in of each product and then we should have our TMR so that would be pretty cool if we can do that. Alright, let's go around the edges first. Yeah, so I'm a little bit worried about the time of day that we're at because, we, like I said, we are definitely going to get some weeds popping up at some point. And if we go right through into tomorrow morning the crops are probably going to be grown we're probably only going to get one stage of fertilizer on there so I think the timing of the day is a little bit awkward for us because as well I have actually got the plant growth on fast for this series just for the fact that they're all small fields and obviously we would have been thumb twiddling at the very start quite enjoying this little tractor though it's even sweeter that we didn't even pay for it Right, I'm thinking we're not going to have enough fertiliser here, so, because I wasted a little bit on that small field, I got carried away talking too much and missed loads of little bits, but we'll see what we can do. So yeah, definitely let me know what your thoughts are about this tractor in the comments. I think it's quite cool. Still vintage looking, it's still a small tractor so it's definitely fitting within our series. I'm pretty sure Rusty took that into consideration. like I said it was a tractor that was on my list I've got a couple more as well but I'm not going to say what they are because hopefully further down the line we might get them as well 
but I don't know whether we're going to need like a whole fleet of tractors on here but it depends how we get on with the series if we end up getting quite sort of not rich but pretty well off we could have a little fleet of tractors right so we're definitely going to run out of fertilizer here there we go so we're going to have to pop up to the shop and buy some more and I think let's just go like that I think actually I'm just going to show you quick yeah so to our left here that's where farmer cop had set up and he'd cleared all those trees in the back there some to the side he had a silo around the back he's built a little orchard and, and rusty just almost put it back to exactly how it was it was just crazy but very very smart and funny brilliant how he did it right so let's lower that down I always forget how much this holds I think it's 350 wasn't it yes so let's get some of the bags which were where were they under were they in big bags I can't remember now it's not those ones is it no it's pallets wasn't it and it was the single bags here by great mod by quiet hitman so we want fertilizer so that is a hundred two hundred three hundred three fifty if my calculations are right normally they're pretty off anyway I will probably get this done because again like I've said before I don't want these episodes too long and I don't want to bore you too much with some of this basic stuff so I'll get that other field fertilized and then after that there probably won't be anything to do until those weeds turn up so I'll probably bring you back in if it's not too late in the day and we've still got a bit of light and we'll sort those weeds out hopefully it would be nice I don't know how it's going to work out though it would be nice to get the second stage of fertilizer on there as well but I know I could always sort of turn off or turn down the plant growth speed just to help us out but I'll see what happens but like I say I'll get this done in our Dutes D6206 pumped and I'll bring you back in when there's some more shenanigans going on so I'll see you very shortly <laughs> good evening as you can see we have weeds and the first stage of growth which is going to be fun lovely sunset though so I think we're gonna go for it tonight before we go to sleep because that is a job that will be out of the way I'm hoping we can go let's just test the water I don't think we'll be damaging the crops if we do that But we'll soon find out we're going to head up to the shop because we need a new weeder because obviously we sold ours last episode that looks quite cool in the dark doesn't it? Uh, on there. 
So it is a bit late, but Graham, who runs the shop, owns the shop, he's pretty cool. He does live just there, over in that little house there, connected to the shop. So he's pretty smart. If you give him a call, he will stay open late for you. So I have gave him a call. Lovely fella. He does ramble on a bit, though. But in Weeders... I've got this fella because this is the one we had but it wasn't working very well so it's sort of double the price but it is wider I was struggling to find anything really that would fit in there was another one um, that I thought was quite good and would have been quite fitting but I know Dagawin used it on one of his series and he had a bit of trouble with that so I didn't even bother trying to look at that I would really like to change the colours of this. So I was really looking at this dirt colour to make it all sort of rustic looking. But that's going to give us another thousand on top of the price. So I'm not going to bother with that. We could always change that up at the end. So it's going to cost us just shy of 1500 euros. But let's buy it. And this is going to be quite fun and challenging in the dark to do this this Deutsch does kick out a fair bit of light though so we'll see how it goes so if we head over to the big field let's get the worst one out of the way and we'll see what happens I know it looks fairly big this thing but you know it doesn't look well again let me know what you, your thoughts are on it but like I say there isn't a great deal on the mod hub unless I've missed something but we've bought this now but six metre wide should get these weeds done pretty quick although doing it in the dark isn't the most ideal time to do it so we'll unfold that I think we'll do a Headland round the outside and then hopefully you'll be able to do a sort of up and down malarkey again so it runs pretty quick unlike the last one that was struggling I think we were only getting about 4 miles per hour on that and it is ripping the weeds out of the ground so it's doing the job we paid it to do As long as I kind of stay overlapped, we should be in business. We might have to keep checking the map, especially on this field, just to make sure we are actually getting all the weeds. We could miss the odd one here and there and it won't show up on the map, but you know, it is what it is in that case then. But I really wanted to get this done before we actually put our heads down tonight and get some rest otherwise we'll be looking at quite a big growth stage and then probably even taller weeds so let's try and do a couple of up and down rows and we'll check the map But I'm very pleased with how fast it goes. So, like I say, as long as we stay slightly overlapped and we can kind of follow the little grooves in the field where the cedar went down, so that's going to help us. Still got that nasty bump there. I don't know what that was about. I guess it was part of the forestry area.
superb right head over there now we'll fold that up we definitely haven't damaged any of the crops which is good Just trying to work out what the thumbnail is going to be because I was going to do a nice picture of this tractor over by the big lake and then I thought wow if you see that you're gonna instantly know something's happened or something's up so I'm probably gonna change it not sure what I will do I might do a little bit of it's probably gonna be a bit dark but do a thumbnail of our night work see how that pans out anyway let's get over here we'll unfold that again and let's go along this edge first I'll lower that down that should rip a good chunk out of that section I'll head on up that should be getting all of that because we're overlapping. We'll just go slightly off there. And we'll do the same up this end. It'll just give us a little bit of room to manoeuvre about then. And let's overlap this side. Whoa, 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 obviously overlapping too much and hitting the logs. Again, due to the fact that we are doing night work. <laughs> so, if we do another one, I think we'll probably get away with just two more on this, maybe. Do something like that. I reckon one more coming back down towards the chicken pen. Should be enough. Let's just double check the map while we're here. Looks like just one strip, which is this section here in front of us. So let's fold that up, double check our maps, we're all good to go, it's got a double bit of fertilisation on that little patch there, that is cool, I think we'll probably leave it there for this episode because it is dragging on a little bit, so hope you have all enjoyed it, if you have please give us a like and don't forget to give us some comments your thoughts on night farming in this tractor um what was i saying if you haven't subscribed yet then please please do and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty